everybody, it's Dr. Friels again here to remove a fungal toenail. Um, I think you said your fungus had been here for at least 10 years, is that right? right? Mm -hmm. And have you, you've tried a topical or you've not tried I did try a topical a while back. A topical, well, and it didn't even touch yeah. it. A lot of people, common myth, um, are prescribed topicals or you know just get something over the counter, especially that carousel. That's very popular right now. It's actually only about 16% effective. It will work if you have um, fungus on the surface of the skin, but if it's a little thicker, as you can see down here, a topical alone is not going to touch this. So you're wasting your time and your money. Um, I've heard people have been told to wait over a year um, to see if it grows out because that's how long it normally takes for a nail to grow out anyway. So using a topical every single day for a year that's not going to work is not a good idea. So give us a call. I can take a quick pick at it, let, peek at it, let you know. Listen, this is your best option. Um, we have chosen to um, do laser, right. um, but we're going to remove the nail first because if you can kind of take a peek here, this nail is, you know, it's dead all the way back to here. And what happens when with this type of nail, the fungus actually really digs into the nail mm -hmm. bed itself, so it's really kind of embedded. Okay. So it can be a little more challenging to get off, but you know, once it's removed, like I said, we're um, looking or working with a clean slate so when we go to use the laser okay. after this heals you'll see a new healthy nail peek out from underneath the cuticle and it'll be all clean and healthy okay. otherwise you know we're using the laser to treat the root of the nail and it's just kind of pushing okay. this thick nail okay. out and it just takes longer or like we talked about mm -hmm. the lamisil right. if you had chosen to do that that medicine is treating the root of the nail mm -hmm. and it just makes it more challenging to get rid of it so we found that the best option is actually with a nail like this. Now you don't need to remove every fungal toenail that um, you laser, but something this severe you do okay. and this um, affected. So I know you didn't want to watch. We're going to go ahead well, and get started. You want to watch? Okay. Look at I don't really feel anything. Maybe. Right, and the big difference, right? Otherwise I'll close my eyes. So we've already numbed her up. That was the hard part. Uh -huh. I'm going to check it just to make sure. Any uh, pain, any sharpness, anything like that? No. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and get our little tourniquet on here. And the numbing only takes, gosh, not even 60 seconds, I would say. And I use lots of cold spray to help freeze the skin. So I'm just gonna gently, and you can see this is, you feel that? Yeah, a little bit, I feel pressure. So you I, feel pressure? Maybe you don't watch, because I don't want your brain to trick you. Now, if you need me to put some more in, I can. No, it's okay. All right. So as you can see, all of this, it went in that far. It's not even attached. So we're really looking at just the base of the nail. So I'm just gonna gently free it. I don't wanna go crazy and be too aggressive because it damages it and it takes longer for it to heal. So just, if you're a resident or a student studying, just be really gentle with the tissue. Anything, it doesn't need to be barbaric. Maybe I shouldn't use that word while we're doing it. <laughs> so if you guys ever have any comments um, about technique or anything like that, you're, you're learning how to do this, please drop them below. I'm happy to comment on that. You know, once you've done a trillion of these, it's a little easier. So what I'm gonna do now is just stabilize the toe because we of course don't wanna cause any type of fracture. Um, while doing something like this because she's numb and then just gently move it up and then as you can see if you freed everything successfully it's going to come right off so let's do another little and I'll show you underneath what we're looking at there you go nice and simple some of that tissue likes to hang on there it's off yes it, that's it it's off oh my gosh everyone says that they're like that's it so you can see here the fungus that's digging in. This was going into the, um, the nail bed itself. So now, and you can see how, you can get an appreciation of how oh my thick. Oh Yay, this is good. Wow. Yeah. So let's now look at the nail bed itself, see if there's any fungus that's trying to stick in there that we want to remove, like this little guy here. We don't need him. Now you're gonna go home, kick this up in the air, right? Any uh, questions about? I'm gonna go home and what? Kick this uh, foot oh. up in the air, take it easy. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So then 
in the next couple of weeks, all this is gonna fill in and it's just gonna look like a normal end of your toe without the toenail. And when that, <laughs> when that uh, heals, what that's supposed to look like. <laughs> you will find, well actually if you turn your thumb over and that's take, what it looks like. that's exactly what it looks oh, like. Okay. So you're gonna be back in about two weeks. Okay. And what we're gonna do is um, plan our first laser at that point to get this uh, started. And it takes over a year just to refresh everyone's memory for the nail to grow out. I know it doesn't happen overnight, it can be frustrating. As always, put a little pressure on here. These like to bleed. And we always give it a couple minutes to stabilize and make sure nothing's trying to bleed through with some pressure. There we go. Get some more gauze. Leave that sitting there for just a second. Okay. So I'm just going to reinforce um, the bandage on top. And when you go home, it's really important to stay off of it. Okay. If you have any concerns, you see any bleeding, that's okay. I just don't want any kind of bleeding through or like it, where it's dripping. Anything okay. like that, you call us right away. You know we have that emergency line. Okay, well I hope you guys have signed up for our channel. Don't forget to uh, ring the bell so you're notified every time I get to do one of these for some more tips to see if we can help you. Because as you know by now, if you're watching the channel, this is my job. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's an excellent point. Never leave this oh. on. What would happen if you left this on? Because your toe's numb, right? It feels like it's on right now. That's why I asked. So okay. if you leave this on, huge mistake. Um, this will actually not allow circulation to the toe. Your toe is numb. You're not going to really feel anything. So you could lose your toe. Yeah, so on. students, residents, most importantly, take this off. <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks for watching another episode. Um, again, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.